What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Psych Force video and in this video we are going to take a look at these milestones that are going on right now. We have the Chosen One, we have the Ancient Arts and we have the Mystic Portals or something like that. So we are going to take a look at these milestones, how can you max them out, how much blitzing you'll have to do, what other things you have to do as well in order to complete this as a free-to-play player and if you can't complete this as a free-to-play player we are going to take a look at how much you have to spend and if it's going to be worth spending that amount. So like always, if you like the information on this video, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and make sure you smash that like button. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, these events, each of them. The first one, the chosen one, it works by you opening orbs. So every time you open one of these, supreme orbs you are get, going to get some points and you'll be able to complete these milestones the total required to complete these milestones is 80 orbs and uh, we'll see that it's not possible to finish these as a free-to-play player but uh, there is some additional information that we have to take a look at now in terms of the ancient arts this is through bleaching and through arena battles now arena you don't have to win or lose it's just to participate and you'll get a decent amount of points and uh, you're also going to get a nice amount of points through blitz but you have to win now in my opinion if you focus just on blitzing that's going to be good enough but the blitzing is not going to reward you any of these shards which is kind of trashy you'll not be able to obtain any fragments through blitzing just uh, through the wins and through this point system now in uh, these milestones in the ancient arts milestones you're going to get a bunch of orbs you'll see how many soon you're also getting some silver promotion credits red star orb steel gear and uh, you're going to get a skin for wong the mcu wong in case you prefer that one you're also going to get this half of this elite five which is pretty sweet because gambit is coming soon and you definitely want to stock up on Elite Force and Elite Fives for Gambit. Okay, so that's the Ancient Arts milestone. This one, once again, you, you get these milestone points through opening orbs and you'll be able to get a bunch of uh, milestones from here. In my opinion, in my experience, some of these rewards are not, uh, whenever you collect, you are not getting the rewards, so I don't know what's going on but it happened to me last night that I opened two of these and I didn't got the, the rewards but I hope that was fixed or something but yeah you are going to get a bunch of gear you are going to get a bunch of ions Elite 4 right here very nice and then there is this Elite 5 over here can we obtain this Elite 5? we'll see okay so that's in terms of the milestones in game we have the chosen one and we have the ancient arts in the web store we have one additional event which is the mystic portal and uh, this one requires you to raid so you have to win raids it's, it's not only participating you have to win raids now if you do this if you do raids every day and the normal amount of raids that you can do daily it's between nine nodes on each raid so that means a total of 18 up to 11 so that's going to be 22 red notes per day so you'll see that this will be easily obtainable and through this milestone you are going to get more of these orbs that you can see right here and most importantly we are going to get some dark promotion credits and t4s now dark promotion credits they are more and more important because all of the horsemen the red stars for the horsemen will be based on dark promotion credits so this is going to be very very important to obtain okay so what's inside of these orbs are these orbs worth anything in my opinion yes but i'm going to be honest i'm a little bit biased because i opened one of these orbs and i was able to get 1 million gold so lucky me but yeah the orb is divided in three parts the left part it drops gold the middle part it drops character shards and the right part it drops gear now let's start through the right part, it, here on the first one it gives fragments for mini uniques, so gear tier 14, 15 and 16 mini uniques. 
that's nice but to be honest i prefer the last one because we have a huge bottleneck in terms of sbc so if i can get as many sbc's as possible that's what i would prefer then we have the one in the middle and we have a few trash characters here but we also have some quite relevant characters in terms of relevance we have agatha Harkness, we have a cloak we have cersei and we also have silver surfer we have strange supreme we have kestrel and we have wong now if you are wondering why there is so many beam tech characters here it's because the jubilee event is going on right now and that means that they made this orb not only for the veteran players but also for the new players that still didn't unlock uh, jubilee i think it's jubilee or adam warlock i think it's jubilee okay so i think that's pretty legit making the orb good for new players and veteran players alike finally we have the gold and you can see you have one percent chance of getting one million gold i got this myself so it's possible it exists but beyond the 1 million jackpot, you can get 50,000 gold, 30,000 gold, or 20,000 gold for most part. So it's not great in terms of gold, but any amount helps. And if you are lucky and if you get a 1 million drop, that's even better. Okay, so that's what you get in the orbs. So now let's take a look at the math of this event. So we have the event divided in three parts. We are going to take a look at each of them. So first off, I forgot to mention this. We have also one of the other ways where you can obtain orbs is through this login calendar and you can get four additional orbs here. So one, two, three, four, four additional orbs. Okay, now we can look at the numbers and we are going to look first at the Mystic Portal. This is the one from the web store. So the event lasts seven days, that's fine. The scoring points is 257 every time you win a raid node. And the maximum score you need is 22,000. That will give you a maximum of 21 orbs as a reward. And if you do 18 nodes per day, that means nine nodes on each raid, which is fairly easy. You only need to raid for five days. Now this lasts for seven days, so we have two days bonuses. So if you cannot do the nine nodes per day on each raid, that means you still have two additional days. So you can go pretty soft on this event and you'll still be able to complete it. Okay, now let's take a look at the one, the ancient arts, the one that requires Blitz and Arena. And you'll see that we don't even require uh, Arena. This is always color coded, so you can see more easily where the numbers are coming from. So every time you win in Blitz, you are going to get 65 points. If you have 36 teams, right now I have 40 teams, but only 38 wins. So on average, I get 36 wins. This with eight rotations, it will only require me to, to do Blitzing for four days. So it's going to be very, very easy. Uh, and uh, you don't have to blitz as much. So if you are, if you want to do just uh, four rotations per day, it will take you the seven days. But uh, if you don't want, if you want to finish this as fast as possible, you can uh, quickly blitz and finish this event as fast as you can. It will reward you a total of 33 orbs, which is a nice amount. And uh, it's like, uh, it's almost, 30% of the, the event requirement. Okay, so that's the one for blitzing. As you can see, you don't have to blitz a lot. You just have to blitz uh, moderate. You still have to do four rotations per day in order to complete, but it's not a big deal compared to the other events that we had. Okay, finally, we have the login calendar. It goes for seven days, rewards you four orbs. The orbs are all on yellow and that's it. Okay, so finally we have the chosen one so this is the one that gives you the this is the one that requires you to open orbs so each orb will give you 225 points and the maximum score is 18,000. now you can only obtain 58 orbs through free to play means 58 orbs through free to play means that means you'll have a deficit of 22 orbs and this will allow you to get 
13,000 points. So how far can you get with 13,000 points? Unfortunately, not as far as I would prefer. And we'll see right now why. So 13,000 points will allow you to reach milestone 27, which is this one right here. It has the A4 emblem, emblems, but, and that's nice. But the one I really want, the, one, the milestone I really want is this one right here. Because it has the SBCs. Squirrel Girl alone requires 2,000 SBCs. So if you are preparing for the Scourge event, you really need to get these SBCs. And 500 SBCs in terms of gold on the, on the gold store is over 120 million gold. So this is a lot of gold. This is worth a lot of resources. And they sell this for $15, I think. So that alone, it's already pretty nice. So on top of the SBCs, you're also getting other, the other half of the Elite 5 and a, a bunch more of teal gear. So is this gonna be worth it? Should you pay for this? We'll take a look at that. Then we have some more Wong shards. Then we have more T4s, a nice amount of T4s. They sell this for a, a little over $20. And then we have some uniques and mini uniques. These ones are extremely scarce. The other time we got like 70 from the milestones of these ones. But these ones are the ones that are really scarce and you can see that they are doing this on purpose. They put the, the, the nicer ones down the bottom of the milestones. Okay, so we have a deficit of 22 orbs and we need three additional orbs to get these, three additional orbs. So we are going to take a look if it's gonna be worth it or not. Okay, so in terms of the money, let's talk about money. So they have several offers going on right now. They have 14 orbs for $60. They have nine orbs for $40. They have five orbs for $25. And then they have one offer for $10 for two orbs. And they have another offer of one orb for $5. Okay, so as I just said, we need three additional orbs to get those 500 SBCs and uh, the half of the Elite 5. The Elite 5, they usually sell it for between $20 and $35. So anything beyond that, half of that, it's gonna be like $10. And as I mentioned before, they sell the SBCs for $15, 500 of them. So that means if you buy the $10 offer plus the $1 off, the $5 offer, a total of $15, you are going to get the same amount of uh, SBCs worth of this money, but you are also going to get half of Elite 5, which is worth between $15 to $20. So is it worth it? I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna wait until the last day in order to purchase this, but in my opinion, the 500 SBCs are super, super important and getting 2,500 additional Elite 5 credits is also extremely important. The other offers, I don't think they are worth it. I would say that this uh, orb, the orb of this event, the value is lower than $2 per orb. So if you are doing $2 per orb here, we have $28, nothing compared to 60. And the other junk that you get, it's nice, but if you, if you don't have the SBCs to equip with all that junk, it's gonna be pointless. So let's forget about it. Let's focus on what really matters and it's the SBCs and the Elite 5. So in my opinion, if you can afford it, maybe take a look into one of these offers. It will also give you some additional raid energy to allow you to complete the other milestones quicker. It's not super relevant, but uh, I don't know, it's up to you. Is it worth it? Let me know in the comments below if you think $15 is worth the 500 SBCs plus the half of the Elite 5. Okay guys, so that's gonna be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We cannot com uh, complete all the milestones, but at least we can get to a point where we'll get some nice rewards. And overall the event is pretty nice and it will not drain all of your time. You don't have to blitz every single day. Uh, you just have to do the basics, like four rotations per day, plus doing the raids, 
and doing some arena and uh, you'll be fine completely completing this event so yeah guys that's going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to smash that like button and if you found the information helpful make sure to share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more marvel strike force content and i will catch you guys later